everyone! So, I am here today to film a How I Style My Pixie Cat When I'm Growing Up video. So I need to think of a shorter title on um, little tips and tricks for styling your pixie when you're growing it out. I'm going to be doing this along the way. So this is short pixie. I'll do long pixie, um, like probably like bob or things like that. So short pixie, number one. I'm not really going to show you guys like different ways to style it with like the blow dryer or things like that. Really, it's mostly going to be hair accessories because... I don't know about you guys, but at least for my pixie cut, and when I always get pixie cuts, it's always just, it's the same style basically every day. I know you can kind of put it up or whatever, but I don't do that, and I don't really know how to do that, so I just always kind of wear it down, and I just blow dry it like that. There's not really much to show you guys, so I'm just going to show you little, like, hair accessories and things like that. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, this is how I wear my hat. I put it back here, so I have the bangs. This is going to be a quick little tip. Okay, so hats really help when you have bed head, you don't feel like washing your hair, whatever. Um, hats are really nice when growing out your pixie cut. Hide the nasty part because usually the bangs are really good. It's usually just the sides and the back that kind of gets crazy. So you can just show off the cute part and just kind of look like, oh, look, here's the button, yay. Sometimes I'll, you know, sweep my bangs to the side or this is a good time to kind of work and like my bangs aren't cut to be straight across bangs but I kind of like fake it and I will put them straight across so that's kind of fun also another thing which is gonna go this is gonna kinda go with the bobby pin tip um, I like to take let's see, two bobby pins like this and I will split my hair down the middle I'll take this part. This looks pretty gross without a hat with the pixie cut because the short sides. Um, but I'll just twist and pin it back. That is not a good example. Whatever. I'm just basically just to kind of switch up your part so it's not always kind of that side part. Okay, so now I have my middle part, and then I can kind of push this, these parts in front, and then put your hat over the bobby pins in this part. So, now you have a middle part. I don't know if it looks weird, because I like it with my bigger hat, because it kind of goes down, and it looks like you have a lot of hair tucked in there, even though you don't, with the better hat. I definitely, it doesn't look as good with like a tight hat, but with like a big beanie, it looks kind of cool. Just imagine it goes down here. Oh my god, it looks like you have some chair. No, you don't. So that is something that I do a lot. Especially because um, when I grow out my hair long, I want to try a middle part. So it's just kind of fun because I don't have my long hair yet. But at least I can have part of my goal, that middle part. So I can kind of pretend I have long hair. Um, I guess we'll just go into bobby pins since I have these out. Um, yeah, so I do the middle part and I put on a hat so you can, so it looks okay. Um, you can also just do the middle part and pin it back, but personally I think if you're this short with your pixie cut it looks kind of weird. I do do that when my hair gets like to a longer pixie cut, which you guys will see hopefully in a few months, two months or something. Um, because then at least these sides are long, so it's kind of like to here and it just kind of blends in. It looks like it's longer. I don't know. Anyways, I'll explain that later. Um, but right now... I wouldn't really recommend doing just the middle part without a hat if your pixie cut is a short because it just kind of looks odd. I don't know. I do that with a hat. Uh, also, sometimes I'll take like a prettier pin. So I have ones, I have bobby pins that just have like studs on it or something or like one stud. This one's just a yellow one. If my hair, if I have enough hair, I'll just kind of take this and I don't know, like pin it right there. This is kind of fun, well, because it adds a little bit of pizzazz in your hair, and also because it kind of gives the illusion that you have maybe, like, hair that comes longer here, and you just pushed it back. So, that's also kind of fun for a little faking it. So, I'll do that. You can go buy, like, pretty bobby pins or pretty little clips or whatever and just pin it back. So that's about it with bobby pins, um, at least for this length of a pixie cut. Just like a normal headband, just like this, just the plastic ones. Um, you can either, you know, brush back all your hair, you know, like that. Or, 
you know, get a nice little studded one and just put it right on top to add a little something something, which is cute. Um, I wear headbands like this sometimes, but mostly I wear what I'm going to show you next, which is little headscarf things. So you can get little head pieces, head chains are cool, little floral head pieces. This one is also a headband, but I just put it on like this in the back. And then just kind of pull my hair out here just to cover that little strap. So the little flower crown things are nice. Or you can get one of these, you can buy these, this is just like a little scarf thing except it has the wire in it, so it's a lot easier to work with. It just kind of stays, so I'll just kind of go like this, and then I can just almost kind of just bend it in any way, any way you want. So you don't even have to, like with the scarves you have to tie a bow, with this one you can just go and just clump it all together and it'll stay. For the ones with the wire in it, I'll probably just do it on top, but with a little scarf you have a few options. So this scarf thing, it's like a silk, silk scarf type thing, um, this was actually my grandma, she was giving it away and I was going through all her clothes that she was going to give to Goodwill and she had a bunch of scarves in there so I cut them to make them shorter and I just tie them in my hair. Guessed and just kind of cut it in half maybe. I don't know, depending on how long it was. And then I would tie it in my hair and then in a bow so it has the two long strings. And then I just cut them to where I wanted them to be. So that's a tip. Okay, so I take it like this and I put it down here. Okay, so then I come up and a little bit to the side. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Okay, some of them that are short, all I have to do is go behind and just tie it in a bow pretty easy. This one, if it's longer, I put it on like this, go behind my ears, cross in the back, and pull it back up. And for this one, I don't do a bow, I just cross it twice. Just like that. So... That's really cute. So if it's longer, just go down first, cross, and then go up. Some of them are shorter, so I just bring it from the bottom to the top. And this one, I just do a little knot. The other ones, I do bows, whatever. Then, of course, you could always do it, have it kind of like low here. Yeah, okay, so let's take this one. This one's a little bit shorter. Actually, this one's a little bit longer. It's kind of this one's kind of a medium length one because I can't wrap it around this way. But if I go like this, it's longer, so I tie it in a bow. Oh, I'm not making sense. Take it, put it on top, and then cross it in the back. Do a little tie. And then you can wear it in front like this. This is also kind of, also kind of fun if you... Um, really want like something to play with or like you miss the feeling of like hair on your shoulder or something. It's kind of cute. It's kind of fun. So just go get a bunch of scarves, cut them up, and just play around with it. I didn't watch a video on like how to do it. All I did, I just I experimented. So uh, yeah, tied in knots, tied in bows, go around a few times, go around one time, up, down, go, go to the side if you want. To do like this is like boho type thing. I've seen them like this, but they're kind of smaller here. Um, you could also, I mean, do it like in front. I don't know, and cross it and then bobby pin it or something. So you have a little head wrap. Go like this. And then bobby pin it here. Or tuck it behind. And scarves are awesome. Okay, so I actually think that's it for this video. Don't worry, I should have more styling tips later in the videos coming up in this series thing. Uh, there's not really much you can do with your pixie cut at this length because it is pretty short still. But yeah, just mess with the bangs, warm them front, warm them to the side, do the middle part with the hats or just middle part. 
I don't know, whatever. If your hair is a little bit longer on the sides, it does look okay with the middle part because the short bangs blend in with the longer part and it just looks like you just have, it's all this length. So, play around with that. Get some cute bobby pins, get some normal bobby pins, some scarves, headbands, whatever, and just really expand. Experiment. If you are growing out your pixie cut right now in winter or even spring or fall or wherever, whenever you guys are watching this, a colder season or at least colder days, you are lucky because you can get away with hats, so that's good. Um, hat days are wonderful. Headbands, headpieces, bobby pins, and hats. Those are my tips. So, and also, um, if you guys did want to play with spiking it up or doing something with your hair, I don't do it so I'm not going to show you guys. But uh, if you're looking for a product, then just get any kind of paste or wax or paste, that's what it'll be called. So definitely go for that. As your hair gets longer, you can go for mousse or whatever, but right now, paste is what you want. Just get a little piece, rub it in your hands, and then get it all in your hair, and then style it push in the opposite direction, get it messy, whatever. Those are my recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of helpful. Oh my gosh, you guys. I noticed this morning that the prenatal vitamins I was taking, not because I'm with child, but because uh, prenatals will help with hair growth, I noticed that they do not have the ingredient that makes your hair and nails grow, which is biotin. So if you guys were saying my hair is growing fast, you just wait because apparently this is just how fast my hair grows. I knew it did grow fast, but uh, yeah, so I started taking biotin tonight. So um, now we'll see if it grows faster. I'm kind of excited now that I know I've actually got the right thing. So we'll see. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more Growing Out Your Pixie Cut videos. Alright, bye!